Good news! This is Peace News Now. I'm Derek J. Today is Tuesday, February 12th, 2013. Here's what's happening in the world of peaceful evolution. First, news from the Shire. As of yesterday, the Thelonious Monkfish, a Pan-Asian restaurant at 524 Massachusetts Avenue in Cambridge, Mass., is a real-life, over-the-counter establishment that accepts Bitcoin as payment. As in this case, sometimes all it takes is a conversation with the owner. Try asking some establishments that you frequent, do you accept Bitcoin? Watson is the artificially intelligent supercomputer created by IBM. After years of winning against humans on Jeopardy by cheating and looking up all of its answers on Wikipedia, Watson took its million dollar prize money, went on vacation to the Cayman Islands, and is now finally ready to focus on something productive. Curing cancer! Today, Watson is sifting through some 600,000 pieces of medical evidence and 2 million pages of text from 42 medical journals and clinical trials in oncology research. The combination of Watson's high-speed data processing, massive storage capacity, and artificial intelligence presents a unique opportunity to speed up the way data is analyzed to diagnose and treat cancer. Watson, named for IBM's founder Thomas Watson, can ingest tens of millions of pages of data in just seconds. Are you tired of the U.S. government killing people around the world? Are you tired of having to pay for their murderous rampage? Stop using their money! There is an alternative! Bitcoin is a stateless, free market, non-political currency. Bitcoin is money that cannot be inflated or controlled by any government. Bitcoin takes the power of money from government and returns it properly to the people. By continuing to use the dollar, you are helping the government! Stop doing it! You have an incredible alternative available now. Learn it, use it, spread it. Get started with Bitcoin at WeUseCoins.com. Up until now, I have avoided mentioning Christopher Dorner, the former LAPD officer who's being hunted by police, feds, and drones, and is now being hunted by actor Charlie Sheen. Before, the news was negative. A murderer being hunted by federal agents, police mistakenly killing multiple innocent victims, the first ever American citizen to be sought and destroyed by drone. Finally, I get to report on this bit of news in a positive light. Charlie Sheen recently produced a short video in which he addressed Dorner, saying, quote, Christopher Dorner, this is Charlie Sheen. You mentioned me in your manifesto, so thank you for your kind words. I'm urging you to call me. Let's figure out together how to end this thing. Call me. I look forward to talking to you. Sheen is not known for his calm rationality, but I applaud his attempt to speak reason with one of his fans who happens to be the object of a manhunt. He shows an understanding that talking problems out is the solution, not bullets and body bags. In other news, a hemp bill was approved unanimously in a Kentucky Senate committee where Senator Rand Paul and former CIA Director James Woolsey testified. The bill is not a big sweeping step for freedom, but it's a baby step for industrial hemp, a crop which will provide a boon of economic activity to Kentucky farmers and their trade partners. The only vocal opponents of the bill were law enforcement, who speculated that some hemp farmers might also grow marijuana. The United States is already the world's largest importer of industrial hemp. Hemp is not marijuana. The two are different varieties of the cannabis sativa plant. Most importantly, they have different tetrahydrocannabinol content, or THC. THC is derived from the flowering tops and is the active ingredient responsible for marijuana's medicinal and psychoactive qualities. The hemp plant, harvested solely for its seed and stalk, not its low THC flowers, contains less than 1%. Hemp has been grown for at least 12,000 years for its fiber, which makes textiles and paper, and its seed, which makes food and fuel. George Washington and Thomas Jefferson both grew hemp. Ben Franklin owned a mill that made hemp paper. Jefferson drafted the Declaration of Independence on hemp paper. Hemp was grown commercially in the U.S. until the 1950s. The Marijuana Tax Act of 1937 and the Federal Bureau of Narcotics made it impossible to grow industrial hemp. The United States Drug Enforcement Administration, the DEA, to this day still regards industrial hemp as the same as marijuana. George Washington famously said, make the most of the Indian hemp seed and sow it everywhere. In world news, a website called Ripple.com is making waves by offering an open source person-to-person -person payment network. This has sparked an interesting discussion by users with the website's creator. That's happening in the Bitcoin forums at bitcointalk.org. Link in the episode's show notes. That's all the time we have for today. Links to these stories can be found in this episode's show notes. Find PNN on YouTube, iTunes, Twitter, Facebook, and LiveLink. For PeaceNewsNow.com, I'm Derek J. Peace.